Oh, now what's the motherfucking cake deal, man? Welcome back to Sheldon's bootleg ass studio where you come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot this shit with Sheldon. I really do appreciate you for pulling back up. Before we get up into this video, you already know I need you to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, give me a follow if you're watching on Facebook. Yes, indeed, indubitably. Video of today, you seen it, you read it, let's get up into it. Man, to be chemically castrated after pleading guilty to taking it from a juvenile. Indubitably, yes. They need to been doing this long time ago. Castrate it, chop it off. But a lot of men have been wrongfully convicted of that as well. So if you got DNA, by all means, do what you got to do. But if you ain't got no solid evidence, no solid proof, then I would hold off on that chemically castrated part because... You know, like I said, a lot of people have been wrongfully convicted and a lot of people have been set free after years and years and years of being convicted for that. After a, a DNA has revealed that they were actually innocent. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with it. But then again, we just got to make sure we got 100 percent proof DNA, all of that good stuff. Anyway. Hit that like button, let's go and jump up into it right now. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Says Ryan Clark, 34, pleaded guilty on March 1st to felony charges of second degree rape, molestation of a juvenile under 13, and sexual battery. Tangipahoa, Paris, Louisiana. I, a Louisiana man who was sentenced to 35 years in prison must also undergo chemical castration after he was convicted of taking it from a juvenile under the age of 13. Tension Pahoa Paris District Attorney Scott Paralu said Ryan Clark, 34, pleaded guilty on March 1st to felony charges of second degree, you know, taking it, molestation of a juvenile under 13 and sexual battery. You gotta be real careful with my words on these uh platforms, you feel me? The investigation began in July 2020 when deputies were notified of the sexual assaults between Clark and a juvenile. A second possible victim was also discovered. The DA's office did not reveal further details about the crimes. On Tuesday, Clark was sentenced to 35 years in prison. The first 25 years of his sentence are to be served without the possibility of parole or benefits. Clark will receive credit for time served, must register as a sex offender for life, <laughs> forfeit all parental rights to all children, and submit to chemical castration upon release. Hmm. So what if he's married and he can get conjugal visits? Man, you better shoot the club up while you can. <laughs> should they even get conjugal visits? You know, sex offenders, should they even get it? Let me thoughts below. Chemical castration involves injections of met metrozyprogesterone. That right there. Acetate, a drug that suppresses a man's sex drive by reducing testosterone levels. The drug was made legal in Louisiana in 2008. Former Governor Bobby Jindal signed the bill into law to impose drug treatments on those found guilty of certain crimes, including molestation of a juvenile, aggravated rape, forcible rape, second degree sexual battery, aggravated incest, and aggravated crime against nature. The injections are to be given at least one week before a convicted sex offender is released from prison. In 2022, Louisiana Senator Regina Barrow proposed a bill to allow surgical castration of sex surgical. So that means they're going to cut them bad boys off. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. Surgical castration of sex offenders convicted of crimes involving victims under the age of 13, but she later shelved her proposal. Now, I'm all with it. If you can prove 100%, you know, without a doubt that this person is guilty of this crime. Because like I said, a lot of men have been wrongfully convicted. And we know a lot of women yell that to either get even with a man or to get back at whoever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever motive she has. Now, they're chemically castrating this man. And you can see what color he is. He looks... None white. I don't know what he is, but you know, he may be that of a black man. He has the makeup of one. 
But here we have a man who is non-black, who looks white. And he is from a different state, but let's dig into this and see what he did. This man here, he, he receives no prison time. No prison time for a man who pleaded guilty to rape and sexual assault of four teenage girls. Now, a oh boy probably did more too. This is probably the only one that got caught. Maybe we don't know that. I'm just saying. We can't convict him of something we don't know. The uh, Ryan Clark, the man I was just giving y'all about. But this guy has four that he's been, you know, charged with or pss, no jail time anyway. So this is in New York. Hit that light button. Let's see what's going down. For treatment and reflection, I've come to feel deep shame and regret for my actions. None of you deserve to be in this situation. 20 year old Christopher Belter addressed the courtroom before sentencing for the rape and sexual assault of four teenage girls. Mm. I know, though, that a scar will remain that will serve as a reminder of the evil of the night. Some of his victims were in the courtroom for his sentencing when Niagara County Court Judge Matthew Murphy handed down his sentence of eight years probation. That means Belter mm. won't serve a day behind bars for the crimes that happened at his family's Lewiston home from 2017 to 2018. Belter was sentenced as an adult after Judge Murphy denied him youthful offender status for violating his probation by bypassing monitoring software on his computer to view pornography. But Judge Murphy decided prison time would be inappropriate. I Hold on, I what the hell did he say, what? 2017 to 2018. Belter was sentenced as an adult after Judge Murphy denied him youthful offender step. I missed some. Back it up. Some of his victims were in the courtroom for his sentencing when Niagara County Court Judge Matthew Murphy handed down his sentence of eight years probation. That means Belter won't serve a day no castration. Bars for the crimes that happened at his family's Lewiston home from 2017 to 2018. Belter was sentenced as an adult after Judge Murphy denied him youthful offender status for violating his probation by bypassing monitoring software on his computer to view pornography. But Judge Murphy decided prison time would be inappropriate. I agonize. I, I'm not ashamed to say that I actually prayed over what is the appropriate sentence. In this you ain't pray over sh because th there was great pain, there was great harm, there were multiple crimes committed in the case. Attorney Steve Cohen represents one of the victims and is outraged with the sentence. Cohen says there were zero consequences for violating his previous probation. He is privileged, he comes from money, he is white, for he's been <laughs> sentenced as an adult appropriately. Real talk, let's be frank. For an adult to get away with these crimes without doing jail time is unjust his client was clearly upset and in tears when the sentence was read i believe she's in the bathroom throwing up right now excuse me during the sentencing mm. the prosecutor told the court calling the home where the acts occurred a party house was a disservice to all the victims it was not a party house case judge it was a house of sexual assault that is what what's that in your name that nigga name Wadish. Hell, that nigga name is. Was a disservice to all the victims. It was not a party house case, Judge. Wadish. What kind of lad name he got, y'all? House of sexual assault. <laughs> that is what happened there. That is not something that we should look past. Belter must follow an extensive list of probation rules that the judge says will be like a sword hanging over his head. But his escort home. Sheldon, uh, little bootleg ass studio. Well, that is, you know, privilege. And also, I wonder if that's even legal in New York. Let's see. All right, so according to sexcrimeattorneys.com, only nine. U.S. states have chemical castration laws on the books. Those nine, those states are California, Florida, Iowa, Georgia, Louisiana, Montana, 
Oregon, Texas, Wisconsin, and now Alabama. And that's a uh, that's according to an article posted July 10th of 2019. Well, it says New York is not legal to have castration for those uh, offenders, but uh, um, you see how easy it was for him to get off. Family paid off the judge. I'm quite sure of that. You know what I'm saying? He got a hefty lump sum. And, um, yeah, the, the good old boy gets to walk free and do it all over again. Anyway, leave me your thoughts below. If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel on your way up at this thing. Oh, God. Really do appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Until next time, I'm sure the vibes will need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you suppose. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.